Hola amigos, como vocês estão? How are you? This video is the second chapter of the series Differ and Learn. In this video, we will talk about two different prepositions A and para. A and para both translate to to in English and para additionally translates to for also. We will identify the similarities and differences contextual use, recommendations for using these two prepositions in different contexts, and some tips and tricks for using these two prepositions. You may already have a good idea of using a and para by watching these two pictures. The man saying yo bo au Nepal has just a bag on his back. Here au is the contraction of the preposition a and article u. We will talk about this latter in this video. Now try to focus on the example of this preposition. Just a bag on the back suggests that he is going to Nepal for some specific objective, maybe to visit for a couple of days and then return back. The woman has a suitcase on the right side saying yo vo para o Nepal. The picture suggests that she has no plan to return back soon or she is planning to stay in Nepal for the long term. Maybe she is from Nepal or for whatever reason she will stay there. And at least now she does not have any return schedule. In both cases, either the man is saying yo bho au Nepal or the woman is saying yo bho para u Nepal their English translation is the same. I am going to Nepal. But in Portuguese, we have a specific meaning by changing the preposition a and para. Let's see another example. The little girl is saying yo vo a casa, and the boy is saying yo vo para a casa. You can see the girl has a bag on her back which suggests she is going back to her house probably from the school and the boy is probably going to the house of some others. He probably wants to say yo bho para a casa de amigo. I want to go to my friend's house, any of his friend's house, not any specific house. For now, just remember the different meanings by changing the prepositions a and para and we will talk about them again with their explanations. If you noticed, the preposition a has the contraction with the article. When we say to Nepal, it is au. Nepal is a masculine word and so the article o is used. And with the preposition a, it turns to au. And when we say yo vo a casa, you see there the hat on the letter A. That is the accent. Kaza is the feminine word and so when we say yo bho a a kaza, here the first a is the preposition and the second a is the article with the house. The a plus a turns to a. But with para there is no contraction. Para u Nepal and para a kaza. Let's see some similarities first and then we will identify the differences. The first similarity is that both are prepositions. Both indicate the movement. Yo isto a telefonar a Maria and yo isto a telefonar per Maria both suggest that at the moment I have a movement and I am talking to someone. And if we translate it into English, both have the same meaning. I am calling Maria. Yo bho au Nepal and yo bho para u Nepal both suggest the direction, that is direction to Nepal. If we translate it into English, both have the same meaning. I am going to Nepal. Now let's ask the question. If the preposition a is there, then why do we need a para? Or, if the preposition para is there, then why do we need a? Let's see the reason behind this and it will help us to identify the difference between these two prepositions as well. 
To specify the objective of the movement, we are going somewhere and will return or not. If we have the returning plan, use a, and if not, use par. To specify the target of direction, are we going to a specific place for the short term or a place in general for the long term? If we have a short term staying plan, use a, and for long term, use par. To specify the connection, are we doing something with the person or for the person? If doing something with the person, use a, and for the person, use par. Let's see some examples first, and then we will see their different meanings in context. Yo bo a school. Yo bo par a school. I am going to school. As phases bo a praia. As phases bo par a praia. Sometimes I go to the beach. Yo fui a loja comprar pão. Yo fui Per a loja, comprar pão. I went to the store to buy bread. Yo vou a casa. Yo vou per a casa. I go to the house. Here we use either para or a, which translates to the same meaning in English. But in actuality, they have slightly different meanings. Let's see the differences between a and para first, and then we will come back to these examples. Both prepositions provide a different contextual meanings of movement. Eu estou a telefonar a Maria clearly tells that I am talking to Maria. And if I say eu estou a telefonar para Maria, it does not clearly say either I am talking to Maria at the moment or I am trying to reach Maria and at the moment talking to someone and asking him or her for Maria. Or maybe I am talking for Maria to someone else. Contextual meaning on directions. Eu bo au Nepal suggests that I am going to Nepal for a specific reason, maybe for a meeting or for a short visit. The statement says I am returning back soon. I am not staying there in Nepal, or at least I have no plan to stay there at the moment. Yo bo para un Nepal clarifies that I am going to Nepal for a long time. At least at the moment, I have no plan to return back. And I have no idea when I will be back, or probably I will not be back. Time of stay. I am going to the beach. Yo bo a praia suggests that I am going to the beach for a short time and will return back the same day. Yo bho para a praia suggests that I am going to the beach and will not return. I have a plan to stay there for more days. Specifications He went to the doctor. El foi ao medico suggests that he went to his regular doctor with whom he used to consult. The place might be a specific hospital or the doctor's house. El foi para o médico suggests that he met the doctor but does not specify who is doctor. It might be the new one. There is no specific doctor, hospital or place this statement suggests. Let's go back to the previous examples and try to understand their meaning in different contexts. I am going to the school. Yo po a school. My regular school. For my regular study, I study in this school. Yo bo per a school. Not my regular school. Any generic school. I do not study at this school. Sometimes I go to the beach. As veces bo a praia. My specific beach. I go on certain occasions. As phases, bo per a praia. Not any specific beach. I go to any of the beaches. I went to the store to buy bread. Yo fui a loja comprar pão. My specific store. I used to buy from this store. Yo fui para a loja comprar pão. I bought it from a different store. 
I do not buy regularly from this store. I go to the house or I am going to the house. Eu vou a casa. My house, I am returning from somewhere. Eu vou para a casa. I am going to someone else's house. I am going to another house from my work. At last, let's check out some recommendation or tips. Use para when you are going somewhere and do not have any plans to return. Use a when you are going somewhere and plan to return. Use para when you go to a place you usually do not go to. Use a when you are going to the place where you regularly go. Use para when you are talking about or for someone. Use a when you are talking with someone at the moment. Remember, using para and a is contextual, so it depends on the context that you are talking about. These are the generic ways to use a and para. The same statement I use para may not be expressed the same way in some different contexts. How to use them depends on how you want to express your plan, visit or statement. Thank you very much for watching this video. See you in the next video. Ate a prosim.